Hello and welcome to this microwave engineering lecture titled the 180 degree hybrid directional coupler. In this lecture we will look at the properties of the 180 degree hybrid. We will look at the even and odd modes of the hybrid at ports 1 and 3, the coefficients of the even and odd modes for ports 1 and 3, the even and odd modes for ports 4 and 2, and the coefficients for the even and odd mode at ports 4 and 2. We'll finish with an example of a design of a ring hybrid. The 180 degree hybrid junction is a four port network with a 180 degree phase shift between the two outputs. Here is a symbol for a 180 degree hybrid. Where this is port 1, port 2, port 3, and port 4. Now, if a signal is applied at port 1, it will be evenly split in two in-phase components at ports 2 and 3, and port 4 is isolated. Now, a signal applied to port 4 will be evenly split in two out-of-phase components at ports 2 and 3, and port 1 is isolated. But if a signal is applied to ports 2 and 3, the hybrid will operate as a combiner. The sum of the inputs will be present at port 1, also called sigma or sum port, and the difference of the inputs will be present in port 4, also called delta or difference port. The scattering matrix for an ideal 3db 180 degree hybrid has the following form. The 180 degree hybrid can be fabricated in several forms. One of these forms is the ring hybrid or rat race shown in this figure and can be easily constructed in planar form using microstrip or strip line transmission lines, although waveguide versions are also available. Now let's take a closer look at the rat race hybrid. Here is port 1, here is port 2 which is the through port, here is port 3, which is the coupled port, and port 4 is isolated. There is a quarter wavelength distance between ports 2, 1, and 3, and 4, but between ports 2 and 4, there is a distance of 3 fourths of lambda. Notice that each port has a transmission line of characteristic impedance Z0 and the ring has an impedance of square root of 2 Z0. To analyze this circuit, we will use the same approach as with the quadrature hybrid. This is a ring hybrid in normalized and symmetric form, where a wave of amplitude A1 equals 1 is incident on port 1, and we will define B1 to be the amplitude of the wave emerging out of port 1, B2 the wave emerging out of port 2, B3, the wave exiting port 3, and B4, the wave exiting port 4. Now let's look at the even and odd mode analysis of the ring hybrid for ports 1 and 3. This means that we will use an even mode excitation in ports 1 and 3. Notice that the superposition of these excitations is equal to the original incident wave in the previous slide. We do the same analysis and notice that ports 1 and 3 have the same voltage because of the even mode excitation and so we can bisect the circuit and replace the bisections with open circuits as shown here. Now we will have two different circuits, one for ports 1 and 2 and another for ports 3 and 4. Now we will define the reflected wave going out of port 1 to be gamma E for the even mode the transmitted wave going out of port 2 defined as TE. Here we'll have an open circuited lambda over A transmission line, a quarter wavelength transmission line connecting ports 1 and 2, and a 3 lambda over 8 open circuited transmission line in port 2. Now let's look at the odd mode analysis of the ring hybrid for ports 1 and 3. For the odd mode analysis, 
We now excite port 1 with a wave amplitude of plus 1 half and port 3 with a wave amplitude of minus 1 half. We can bisect the circuit and replace the bisections with short circuits or grounds as shown here. For the top half, we'll have an excitation of 1 half, the reflected wave going out of port 1 to be gamma O, the transmitted wave going out of port 2 to be TO, and for ports 3 and 4, we'll have a wave excitation of minus 1 half, the reflected wave going out of port 3 to be gamma naught, and also the transmitted wave going out of port 4 to be TO. Now we can look at the even and odd modes together to determine the waves going out of the ports. For B1, the wave going out of port 1 will have that it's equal to 1 half of gamma E plus 1 half of gamma O, as shown here. For the wave going out of port 2, we'll have that B2 equals 1 half of TE plus 1 half of TO. For the wave going out of port 3, we'll have 1 half of gamma E minus 1 half of gamma O. And for B4, we'll have 1 half of TE minus 1 half of TO. Now, we do the same approach as we did with the quadrature hybrid, and we obtain the ABCD parameters of the even and odd mode two port circuits by cascading their respective components. After doing this, we obtain the ABCD matrix for the even mode and the ABCD matrix for the odd mode. From the ABCD parameters, we can obtain gamma E, TE, gamma naught, and TO. For gamma E, we obtain a value of minus J over square root of 2, and it's the same for TE. For gamma O, we have J over square root of 2, and for TO, we have minus J over square root of 2. Now, we can substitute the transmission and reflection coefficients of the even and odd modes into the original expressions for the waves. And we obtain that B1 equals 0. This means that there is no reflection and port 1 is matched. Now, B2, the wave going out of port 2, is equal to minus J over square root of 2, as well as B3. This means that the power is evenly distributed and in phase between ports 2 and 3. And for B4, we have 0. This means that there is no power delivered to port 4, the isolated port. Now let's look at what happens when we do an even and odd mode analysis of the ring hybrid for ports 4 and 2. So for even mode, there's a wave of plus 1 half in port 2, plus 1 half in port 4. We bisect the circuit and replace the bisections with open circuits. Now we'll have gamma E to be the wave going out of port 2 and port 4, and TE to be the wave going out of port 1 and port 3. Now for the odd mode, we have a wave amplitude of plus 1 half going into port 4 and a wave amplitude of minus 1 half going into port 2. We bisect the ring hybrid and replace the bisections with short circuits now. We'll have gamma O, the wave exiting ports 2 and 4, and TO, the waves exiting ports 1 and 3. Now let's get our expressions for the waves exiting out of the ports. For B1, the wave exiting port 1 will have 1 half of TE minus 1 half of TO. For B2, wave going out of port 2 will have 1 half of gamma E minus 1 half of gamma O. For B3, we will have 1 half of TE plus 1 half of TO. And for B4, we'll have 1 half of gamma E plus 1 half of gamma O. Now, the corresponding ABCD parameters of the even and odd mode 
two port circuits are for ports 4 and 2 this is the ABCD matrix for the even mode and the ABCD matrix for the odd mode and the corresponding reflection and transmission coefficients are gamma E equals J over square root of 2 gamma O equals minus J over square root of 2 TE equals minus J over square root of 2 and TO equals minus J over square root of 2. We can use these results to calculate the backward components. For B1, we obtain 0, which means that port 1 is matched. For B2, we have J over square root of 2 and B3 minus J over square root of 2. This means that power is evenly distributed but with a 180 degree phase shift between ports 2 and 3. And B4 equals 0, which means that no power is delivered to port 4, the isolated port. Design a 180 degree hybrid for a 50 ohm system impedance at a design frequency F0. Since we already analyzed the ring hybrid, we know that the characteristic impedance of the ring transmission line will be square root of 2 times Z0 and it's equal to 70.7 ohms.